In this video, I'm going to show you how to validate a reflective measurement model. So this model right here has all reflective latent constructs. All the arrows point from the latent factor to the indicators. Now we could switch this if we right click it and say invert measurement model, but that's not what I want to do for this video. So I'll just fix that. But if we want to test the reliability, conversion validity, and discriminant validity of these latent factors, all we need to do is go to calculate, Consistent PLS algorithm. If it's on path, switch it over to factor, keep the rest as default, and hit start. We can eyeball this and see that for ethical concerns, we have pretty good loadings here. Ideally, we want them loading above 0.7, but as long as they average out as a factor above 0.7, then we're pretty okay. So I'm not too concerned with a loading like this at 0.605 because these others are high enough. We do seem to have some concerns over here with burnout for management. It looks like burnout three and four are pretty low. Less than 0.5 is pretty low. Now we can continue to eyeball this by placing in the constructs their AVE. We can see that sure enough, burnout for management has an AVE less than 0.5. That's not good. But if I were to zoom in, let's see. Then we can see that the Cronvex alpha is above 0.7. So is the composite reliability. So we might be all right. Let's zoom out. And we can see the AVE for ethical concerns and for satisfaction with work are both satisfactory. I can switch this over to composite reliability. And we can see that those values are all above 0.7, which is good. Well, let's look at the report. Up here, click on report. And then you'll notice down here in the quality criteria, we have construct reliability and validity. Click on that. Let me zoom out. And we can just look at the overview for now. We get a summary of the Cronbox Alpha, Rho, Composite Reliability, and ABE. One thing that Smart PLS does is that it colors in green those measures which are above published targets of, for example, 0.7, or turns red those that are below published targets, such as 0.5 for AVE. So what is this telling us? It's telling us that we have convergent validity for these two factors, but for burnout, we do not have convergent validity according to the AVE criteria. According to composite reliability, which might be used for convergent validity, we do have sufficient convergence. But let's see if we can fix this. One way we can begin to determine how to fix this is by going over here to the left and clicking on outer loadings. This gives us essentially a pattern matrix. It is the loadings by indicator on each factor. Well, what we see is burnout for management three and four, as we saw before, are both kind of low. Looks like ethical concerns one is a little bit low, but not terrible. And same with satisfaction with work one, low, but not terrible. I would strongly discourage you from removing items such as satisfaction with work one, because there are only three items on this factor. And this value is not terribly low, and altogether the AVE does come out above 0.5. So I would retain this item. I would only remove the item if it seriously undermines the validity of the construct. Now, that might be the case for BM3 and 4. We notice that our AVE does go below the published threshold. So let's see what happens if we remove these two. We go back to our graphical view. Select BM3, hold shift and click on BM4, hit delete. And you'll notice that all of the coefficients disappear. It's because we are now working with a different model. So those coefficients are no longer relevant. Let's go ahead and just run this again. And we can just eyeball this. We can go over to the constructs and ask for the ABE. Look at that, the ABE is now 0.686, which is above that published target of 0.5 for AVE. So we're good for convergent validity. We also know that we're good for reliability, as we saw in the report. The composite reliability and Cronbox alphas are all where they should be. Look, it's all green, yay. So we have reliability, convergent validity. Let's now take a look at discriminant validity. That's just right here below construct reliability and validity on the left in the quality criteria section. Click on that. And we have a few options. Let me zoom in here. So there's the heterotrait monotrait ratio and the Fornell Larker criterion. So let's start here. HTMT. 
Now for the HTMT, we want values less than 0.9, ideally less than 0.85, but less than 0.9 is good. And you can see these are green, which means they are exhibiting discriminant ratios. So that's good. If we go to the fornell larker criterion, we can see on the diagonal the, a, the square root of the AVE, and that needs to be greater than the absolute value of any correlation. So it looks like we actually do have a problem here. The square root of the AVE for satisfaction with work is 0.735, but the absolute value of its correlation with burnout for management is 0.78. Zoom out. So what can we do about that? Well, we can go explore whether there is some sort of correlation going on between the items of satisfaction with work and burnout from management. The way we would do that is go over here to residuals and look at the outer model correlations. Now we want to look at satisfaction with work and burnout items. Here are the burnout items on top, satisfaction with work items on the left. And we're looking for anything with a large correlation, but it looks like we only see correlations less than 0.2, and that's not a published threshold, that's just a, a meaningful correlation in my mind. So I don't see any pointer towards a main culprit, some item that is highly correlated with another item. So what do we do? Well, the best thing probably would be to add constructs to our model. Right now our model is very basic, only three constructs. And so any variance that can be shared is going to be shared and is going to be a little bit inflated. If we were to add constructs, we might see a distancing between these two. Well, that's how you go about looking at reliability, convergent validity, and discriminant validity in a reflective measurement model in Smart PLS 4.